In this instruction, I'm gonna show you how you share messages from the Node MCU with the ESP8266 chip, the Wi-Fi chip, between controller board and a smartphone. You can receive messages from the smartphone over the network, switch an LED on or off, or you can send messages from a button and make it display on the smartphone. This is how it works. And now I'm showing you how to realize it. It's a pretty simple workflow. This is the YouTube description and this is what you need. Keep in mind that the package is available on GitHub. The hookup guide, the Arduino code and the interface for the test application. First of all, I'm showing you how to create a test app with touch OSC, then we hook the node MCU up, and after that we will code the test application in the Arduino. You need at least the node MCU controller board with the ESP8266. It is quite cheap, about three or four dollars on eBay, for example. Then you need a quite new Arduino IDE, a button, LED, resistors, for example, this resistors, and maybe some channel wires. And you need a micro USB cable, but you will only need it when you upload your code on the Node MCU, not later. Later, a power bank will be sufficient. Then you need the Touch OSC app, and unfortunately it is not so free, but I can really recommend it. It is great. It is thought 99. You need the Touch OSC desktop editor. That's where we start right now. To create these app themes. I'm using a Mac, so... I downloaded this one. If you are not able to make the Touch OSC desktop editor run, it is maybe because you are using a new Mac. And the Touch OSC app currently requires Java 6. At the moment, we are at Java 8. For so installing it anyway, you need an app for making Java 6 applications run anyway. And then you need a Wi-Fi network and you have to know your SSID and your password. Let's start with the Touch OSC editor. The Node MCU and the smartphone will share information using a protocol called OSC, Open Sound Control. It is based on UDP. Each sender and the receiver need the same key. For example, I create a button in the Touch OSC editor. Each sender and the receiver need the same key. For example, I create a button in the Touch OSC editor. You can give it an address. In this case, the button has this address, which must be identical on each device, the Node MCU and the smartphone. In this case, it is this address. Having done the interface, you save it. It's best to upload it on a Dropbox or Google Drive or whatever for downloading the file again on your smartphone. On your smartphone you can select your theme you just created. Next we hook the Node MCU up for an example application. For receiving messages from the smartphone 
you need in this case an LED, and a resistor, and some wires. Sending messages to the smartphone, I need, for example, a button or any other input, for example, a touch sensor or any other kind of sensor, and a resistor and some wires. You can go to your Arduino. Arduino cannot out of the box speak to your Node MCU. First of all, you have to download some libraries for the Arduino. The first library is the ESP8266 library, and you have to copy the link, go to the Arduino SDK, go to your preferences. Additional plots, you paste the URL in, I have already done it, press OK, then go to Tools, Plots, Plot Manager, and scroll to the button. And there you may see the Android ESP8266. Maybe you have issues with it. For example, if you are inside a safe university network, then you go to Settings, Network. And if this does not work, you have to type in a manual proxy configuration. The next library is the OSC library. This is easier to install. It just download the zip file, then go to documents, Arduino, libraries and paste the library in. Then you have to restart the Arduino IDE. This code also available in my directory and um, is able to send and receive between the node MCU and the smartphone. This is the receive OSC sketch. This is for example for switching an LED on or off. The send OSC sketch is shooting a button and then letting the smartphone know. The other code, this one, is just a combination of those two. So I close it again. First of all, you need to include these two header files. For receiving OSC messages, you need to include this header. And for sending OSC messages, you need to include this header. At first, type in your SSID of your network and your password. Then you have to enable the pins. But note, the numbers on the node MCU are not the same as you use in the Arduino IDE. For example, if the D5 is printed on your node MCU board, you have to type in pin 14 in your Arduino IDE. I have a pin mapping in the directory so you see the D5 is the GPIO 14 and in the send OSC script 
it is nearly the same. You need the button pin, the input, and this is GPIO 12. Next, you initialize the thoughts. This is the thought rate. Maybe you need it for debugging, for sending messages to the computer anyway, wired. And then you have to give your node MCU a static IP address. If you do not write it in, the node MCU will get any IP address. In this case, the address 123. This is the address of my router, the gateway, and this is the subnet mask. I have a class C network. As soon as it is starting, some things are printed here. And in the loop function, we will do what we are planning to. In the receive OSC, we receive a message. And we are writing case. In this case, we are receiving a message with this address it is the same like here if you receive a message with this string we go inside this function the digital write the LED and the toggle it on or off additionally we write it onto the console for debugging. In the send OSC, we say that the receiver app should listen onto this address. On the touch OSC app, it is the same as you see here. Take the value of your button. If your button is changed, and it is true, you send the one to your message. If the button is not pressed, you send a zero. And there you send it. In the send OSC app, you have to code in the address of the receiver. It is, in this case, it is the address 2. On your smartphone, you will see it in the Wi-Fi settings. Before you upload a sketch, you have to go to Tools and select your board. In this case, it is the Node MCU board. Compile it and having done this, check that your board is connected to your computer and then upload it. This is basically how the node on CU works. How you can easily do some things with the Arduino, SDK, Node.js, port forwarding, integrate your node on CU into a game engine, for example Unity and Unreal. Stay creative.